Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing our adventures in Mississippi Acres, working to unlock the entire map. Uh, this may end up being our last episode. We only have to grab the last little bits of stuff over here and over here. So uh, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible and uh, finish up this map, hopefully. It'd be helpful if I could uh, actually switch to the things I'm trying to switch to. Our plan, as you can see, our plan for today is to uh, run down to these waypoints here. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to switch direction and head over to this guy. Uh, we'll swing down up this way, grab the lookout point here, grab any remaining points that are over here. Then we'll fast travel probably over here and run up to grab that. Or maybe we'll just run down this way. Yeah, it'll probably be faster to just run down that way. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. The loadout for today is our is our Mommer 7mm for our class 4 to 9 animals, the 243 pistol for our class 2 and 3 animals. For our class 1, we have two weapons, the Strandberg 10 gauge executive shotgun as well as the Anderson 22 defender pistol. The shotgun will be for moving targets because it's easier to hit them with the spread. And for further away targets that may be sitting still and hopefully just kind of sitting out in the open, we have the pistol for that. And then lastly, for our self-defense, we have the Sunberg 454, my favorite pistol in the game. Uh, for anything that decides to become aggressive towards us, or, you know, maybe packs of wild pigs that decide they want to run past us and, uh, you know, get away. So that's the plan for today. That's the loadout for today. And hopefully we'll be able to finish up here in Mississippi Acres and move on to whatever the next reserve is going to be. I, I Honestly, I kind of haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll see. So I'll see you guys when there is something interesting going on or we make it to the point of interest. All right, this one turned out to be a uh, boat ride over here, so that's okay. We're going to run over to this over here, which probably is going to turn out... I don't know, that might be a flag point of interest being so close to the road, but uh, we'll have to wait and see until we get over there. So we have some pigs going on over here. Wow, I just could it's because I was running. I just could not get control of my cur uh, control of the uh, of the sight there, and it just refused to refused to cooperate. Yeah, I'm trying to hold my breath, and ugh, it just it just refuses. It refuses to settle. All right, I'm I'm just gonna let him go. Um, I don't normally have that much of a problem running and stopping and doing all of that, but it's just really yanking hard right now. I don't know why. And it's yanking hard in a way that I'm just not able to... Why is that still undiscovered? All right, well, whatever. I'm not going to... That's really frustrating. Anyways, onward to the lookout point. All right, here we are at the lookout post. Let's get it unlocked and see what new I new options are available nearby. And uh, if there isn't anything, then we'll run down to the other one. What do we got? Okay, so we'll run over here, get the outpost, and then swing down this way. So that is our next destination. So away we go. Okay, I just got a Bob White quail warning, but they're in the brush here. I don't foresee actually getting a shot at them with it being so dense over here. But uh, you never know. Try to keep an eye out to see if anything flies off to the right out into the clearing here. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yep. Unf oh, nope, there they are. There they are. Oh, of course, they caught me in a reload. All right, well, they got one of them. Oh, come on. I think we got it. I saw it fall. Okay, pick up the thing. So we got one right here. A nice silver. And then what else did we get? Switch. Switch to the thing, please. Are we not? I hate, you know, if you take it, if we kill it, so it should give me the, it should give me the last spotted. I, I really don't like that it doesn't do that because you take a bunch of shots and if you're like, if you're scatterbrained like me, you don't remember where they were when you shot them because you're so focused on trying to get another shot in. 
So now I have to try to figure out where they were. I mean, they were all kind of right here in the middle. And yeah, did we get two or did we, I get one and then another one? So that's the other thing. I said I don't remember. After all the action is done, I don't remember which ones I got. So I just I kind of have to meander around and hope I don't miss any of the stuff that I shot. I know we. I'm pretty sure that last one fell when we shot it over here somewhere, right? But because it's not because it's not showing it on the on the map here, I have no idea where it is. So it's super frustrating because now I I either have to hunt around for several minutes trying to find this little bird, or I have to give up on it and lose out on a potential trophy. It's just super frustrating. Okay, well, you know, as much as I'd like to find it, I just, I don't have the patience, I don't have the patience to hunt and peck around for this, so. We'll run off in this direction and see if maybe we can get this guy. Where'd he go? Did he, did he fly over my head? Okay, well, you know. We'll go see how we did on this one. I'm I'm not even going to try to find the other one. It's it, it it's going to require too much combing around in the bush in the bushes trying to find it. So unfortunately, that's that's just the end of that. All right, a little silver. No, no. In my mind, it felt like it was much further away. That was much further away than it was. So I don't know. The hunting pressure for that. Or maybe we just maybe we didn't get that one, and I just I was seeing things. It's, it's just it's confusing to me because it in my in my brain I remember seeing it fall as I hit it, but I, I guess I didn't. I don't know because the hunting pressure over here isn't. Well, I mean, it, I guess it is kind of pinkish, but I don't know. To find it, I'd have to I'd have to go looking quite a lot, and I just I'm, we don't have I don't have time for that. So we'll grab this over here. Which looks like it's going to be a hunting stand. See if maybe we can catch ourselves a rabbit over here. I don't see it, though. Alright, well, doesn't look like we're going to get any more over this way. So I'm going to head over to the outpost over here, get that unlocked. And then we'll fast track, or we'll run down this way to go grab the last section over there. All right, this is the second to last outpost that we need. We'll get it unlocked and then run all the way down here to the other lookout post over in that direction. Give you guys this cutscene and then we'll move on. So, bird sitting there. Just like I, I, I kind of glanced off in this direction and saw a speck moving across the sky, and I was like, oh, well, I guess there's a bird over here. Man, if it felt like he was much further away. It's got to be his small. It's got to be their small size that's making it feel like that. Because it felt like he was way across the field. Uh, where'd he go? Hey, a nice gold one. I apologize for the noise outside. There are helicopters flying by, and it is too hot in the. It's too hot. They're flying right over my head right now. Like, literally flying right over my head. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. It's a bunch of military helicopters. So, having served as a Marine, I have a little bit of pride with that. But at the same time, it's like, you guys couldn't pick another flight path. <laughs> I'm going to go right over my trailer. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it gets too hot in the trailer, and, I don't, and my air conditioning is much louder than the fans. So, overall, it's less noisy to just uh, do it that way. 215.94 for our bobwhite quail. That's actually higher than what we had before. 215.94. So, we'll keep that and record that as our new high score for the bobwhite quail. And we went ahead and taxed that guy. So we'll be able to add that to the trophy lodge at some point. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to do a whole uh, trophy lodge episode again because I haven't gone back to the trophy lodges in quite a while. So I'm definitely have to make sure I remember to do that at some point. 
but uh, I'm just I'm really in, I'm really in this push to hurry up and finish the finish uh, exploring the rest of the maps so that we can just focus on hunting whatever we feel like just you know pick whatever reserve we want to go to and hunt whatever animals we want to hunt and rather than you know ha having this plan of just running around the maps all the time um, it's been fun for the most part but the grind of it after all these months is just really starting to wear thin and I'm just I, I, you know I want to finish it I want to finish the exploration phase of all of this but then I'm, I'm ready to start working on just hunting things and you know focusing on shooting stuff <laughs> the gray fox right there and a, there was a pig that ran across the road too but she got away too fast. And there's about, man, there's all kinds of stuff right there. I just didn't get a chance to do anything with it. And unfortunately, this gray fox was a female. I didn't get a chance to really look at the score, but uh, I can't imagine she's going to be that impressive. Oh, I stand corrected. 5.74 with a gray fox. Canine, gray fox, 5.7. It's better than what we had. I, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. So we tax that and we'll move on. Uh, okay. I mean, you see female and you assume smaller size, but I was wrong on that one, so never mind. I'm hoping that as I run in this direction, I'll get another chance at one of those pigs that ran across the road, but uh, I'll bring you back if that happens. Um, okay, there's just there's a lot going on right now. Looking around, trying to see if any quail are running or flying. Not sure where that one that was over there went. Okay, well, as I said, I'll bring you guys back when, so when something interesting happens. All right, we finally made it to the bridge. That's going to take us back across to the other side over there. There were some pigs over here, but the, the, the brush and the terrain just were not cooperating, so I didn't bother to bring you guys in because I knew I wasn't really going to get a shot at it. Would have been nice if it had happened, but uh, it's just, just didn't, kind of didn't work out. So now we have to run all the way over here to get to our lookout point over here. And I imagine there'll be a couple of things and an outpost that we need to grab. And then we'll be done with Mississippi. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay, we got a deer here. Well, she's going down, but uh, not fast enough that I feel like that was a... I mean, it's a female, so either way, the, it's not going to be scored. But, you know, I always like to try to get the best, the best shot I can on any of these animals. All right, we have our female over here. We'll grab her real quick. And then as we were running over in this direction, we did find a, another point of, oh, there's a couple of points of interest. So we're gonna swing over here, swing this guy, swing over here to grab this one here, and then we'll run over to that waypoint there. We got a couple of deer here. They're running away though. And there's just too many trees in the way. Yeah. I figured I'd take a shot just on the off chance that maybe one of those trees wasn't in the way, but it's just too, it's too dense and too thick over here to really get any, any kind of a decent shot on that, so that's fine. We'll move on to our waypoint over here. Then after that, we're go we'll cut to the right and head over to the boat landing over there, and hopefully that'll be the last of the points of interest over here, and we can go straight over to our lookout point. So we're close enough to this that I'm just going to bring you guys over here to find it. Maybe a hunting stand out in a clearing like this. Yep. Okay, we'll do a quick scan of the area just on the off chance that maybe something's in here, but it doesn't appear that way. So another 350 meters over to the boat. All right, and here we are at the boat. Ideally that... I wonder why it doesn't identify that way. Do I have to actually use it before it's going to... Put it as a, remove it as a question mark? That's kind of dumb. Hmm. That's actually kind of annoying that you have to use it before it'll do that. 
I mean, I guess it's not that much time, but it's still just like, I, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of patience for unnecessary tasks. If I'm, if everything else will undo it, if everything else will uh, reveal itself when you walk within X number of feet of it, why not that one? That's kind of dumb. But uh, I guess because they placed the waypoint way out in the middle of the river, and that's just something they didn't think about. But if a game developer happens to see this, maybe you should fix that. All right, so there turned out to be another point of interest, a uh, boat crossing over here. Um, and we're on the right side of... Ah, uh, it's just a female. Boo! Boo! So even if she does run this way... Yep, silver. First one, oh, through the head and into a lung. That's just that's just a testament to how tough these guys are. They're so they're so tough and durable. I mean the the bullet went all the way through and it still had a hard time it still took forever for the health to start going down. Which is kind of like it's kind of insane to me. Alright. So now we just need to make our way over to our lookout point, about a half a kilometer away. And then we'll find out what's left to get those unlocked and be done with this map. So that's kind of exciting. All right, this is our last outpost for Mississippi Acres. Kind of exciting. Let's find out what the last of this map has to offer. Then we can quickly knock out the last little bits of interest and move on to another place. What you got for me? Okay. Um, oh, wow. We, got all, we still got a long way to go. So I guess what we'll do is we'll run up here to grab this and then kind of zigzag our way down here and then hopefully grab this last one there. Ugh. Okay, well, off we go then. We can we can complain about it or we can just get it done. So let's go. Okay, so I changed my mind. I decided we're gonna run to this outpost. We're gonna grab an ATV to get the rest of this over here done, and then another one popped up over here because I guess grabbing the last out uh, lookout point kind of finally cleared out the entire map or whatever. So uh, there's a lot more to get done than I originally thought, and I don't really want to have to hoof it the whole time. So. We're going to take advantage of the ATV that we have. We'll run around as quick as we can to finish out the last of this, uh, last of the map here. And that'll be the end of that. So I need to get to the little, sh uh, get to the little shop over here. Get our ATV pulled out. Request. And, okay, so it's over there. Uh, get over there. Space. There we go. It's been a while since we've hopped on an ATV. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to run over there to grab the waypoints um, all around here and then back down to that other outpost. We'll fast travel back up to the north and grab that last outpost and then we'll be done. So I'll see you once we're over there. All right, here we are at the boat. So we'll grab... Oh, hey, if, well, did it do it on the map though? Yeah, I have to actually get... I actually have to get off of here and then get on the boat. Run, run to the other side, and or, or uh, paddle to the other side. Go back again, like this. I don't know why you have to do it this way. That's. I know it's a little minor oversight, but it's still annoying. Um, okay, so now we want to go to this guy there. We need to turn around and go off in that direction. So I'll do my best to avoid the trees and see you or whatever this turns out to be. Oh, and of course, as soon as I come back, I run into a tree. <laughs> All right, hunting stand for that one. Got another half a kilometer to get over to this guy over here. I'm not going to bother to put a cut in for this one because it's close. And Oh, here we go. Still want to make sure I'm grabbing as many of these as we can find, though, because uh, oh, where'd it go? Because one of the points of coming to these maps and doing all this exploration is to unlock need zones, as many as we can, so... Definitely want to make sure we're grabbing those as we're driving around. Alright, 
what is this guy going to be? Oh, stay, stay, stay. Probably a flag point of interest, being out in the middle of the woods like this. Alright, so we'll get over here, and depending on how long the text is, I'll read it or just let you pause it. Oh uh, yeah, so you can pause the video and read all of this if you would like, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and move forward because we need to get to our next point of interest, which is off in that direction. Uh, one of the benefits of having... Why? One of the benefits of uh, running around like that is sometimes you're so fast that they can't get away. Oh, there's another one. Seven to nine. Okay. There's another one over there. Where did it, where'd it go? I think I hit that one in the head. All right. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to get quite enough penetration to get a uh, a, a uh, vital organ hit, but she was only a silver at best anyway. So we'll go over here. We'll grab our ATV and then go check out how we did on the other two over there and then continue on to the waypoint. Going to take our sweet time. Almost there. There we go. All right. Let's get ourselves down the road here and see how we did on those raccoons that we shot from far away. Given the distance that... I mean, I don't know. They died pretty quick. But then again, they're also raccoons, and raccoons die pretty fast, so... it's a good chance we didn't do very well on these guys. Yeah. Wasn't That one wasn't a gold anyway, so that's okay. And I don't... They both had about the same score estimate, so I'm not expecting either of these to really be what we're looking for. Yeah, 8.73. So, oh, that, that one is actually a really good kill. But it still was only a silver, so that's all right. Um, let's get ourselves over to this point of interest over here. It's close enough that I'll just drive over there with you guys on the camera, because by the time I pause it and come back, it'll be time to be, it'll be time to come right back. <laughs> Up and over the road, down into the ditch. And it is a hunting stand, I would imagine. Grab this. Grab the need zone. Thank you. And then, okay, so yeah, we need to head down here to this um, outpost over here. We'll get that unlocked. And then we have to fast travel back up to the north part of the map so that we can uh, grab that last outpost up at the very tippy tippy top. Alright, this is the outpost here. We'll get it unlocked and then do a quick fast travel. Um, oh crap, I think I'm on the... Oh crap. Somehow I got stuck in a bunch of ridiculousness. Um, is there an opening in the gate here? It appears so. We're gonna have to fast travel anyway, so I'll go ahead and get this unlocked. Oh, I missed a point of interest behind us. It's really annoying when they pop up like that. If the map is uncovered, it should just show the points of interest, because this one here was not there a minute ago. So now I gotta run now I gotta get back on our ATV and go back in that direction to grab this guy. So yeah, that's super annoying. Let's go see what this one is. I have to tell you though, I did a, uh, there was some serious uh, bobbing and weaving and, you know, slotting between trees and stuff that I had to do to keep to keep at full throttle the whole way over here. I was able to do it, but But then I do that cuz, you know, as soon as you're on camera and you know people are watching, of course you're going to make stupid mistakes like that. It's the way it goes. All right, what is this going to be? A flag point of interest. All right. 
All right, and as before, you can pause the video to read that, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna move on to the last point of interest on the map, which is this guy up here. So we're gonna fast travel to, we're gonna fast travel to this guy, and then get another ATV and run up there, get that unlocked, and then we can be done with Mississippi. All right, so that's going to go ahead and do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing membership, you can always leave YouTube's version of a tip with that thanks button. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. Lastly, I'd like to remind you about the GoFundMe campaign that we're running to replace our mother-in-law's car that got totaled by a hit and run. She has liability only insurance, so that's not going to come to the rescue. We're going to have to find her a car cash up because uh, we can't afford to help her out with the loan or anything like that. So if you'd like to do a good deed, help us get her a cheapy car to get her back on the road so that she can get back to work and do all that kind of cool stuff, it would be greatly appreciated and, uh, you know, be a good deed. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.